dear students, Kasia here, your English teacher, and this is the series Your English Notes. Today I'll be talking about these four words. Uh, last time uh, you could see these two in my previous film, yes, you could see these two, but the meaning uh, was a little bit different, yeah, because last time I talked about uh, choosing two uh, options. But here I will be talking about agreeing. Okay, so if you want to agree with somebody, uh, which of these two words you can use? So look at the board. I put, I can see I've made a mistake <laughs> because it should be negative here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I put two sentences here. The first is positive, I can swim, and the second is negative. Yes, I can't sing. And uh, I would like you to um, look here and uh, which of these words we can use in order to agree, in order to say that you, also, you are also in this situation, yeah? So uh, if you want to agree with the positive sentence, you, can, you have got two options. The first one is that you can start the sentence with one of these and here you will say, so can... I. Okay, so we use it at the beginning of the sentence. Yes, yeah? so can I. But you can also use two, and then you say, I can two. Okay, and here I wrote it N because it's at the end of the sentence. Yeah, so it's at the beginning of the sentence, and two is at the end of the sentence. But if you have a negative mm, sentence, yeah, and you want to agree with a negative sentence, you have to use uh, either and neither, and today I will pronounce them as either and neither. <laughs> I don't know, in this context it's better for me to pronounce them like that, yeah? So um, if someone says a negative sentence, like I can't sing and I want to agree with them, I can say neither or neither. Neither can I, okay? Or I can say, I can somehow repeat this for, and then I will say, I can't either. Okay? So again, at the beginning of the sentence, we will use neither or neither, and at the end of the sentence, we will use either or either. Okay? And um, here is an easy example because we've got can here, yeah? And can uh, functions as an auxiliary verb, so we can um, use it here. Sometimes you can um, have a problem with that because, for example, when there is a present simple, you have to use do or does depending on the person, yes? For example, if someone says, uh, I like pizza, you can say, you have to say, so do I, yeah, we don't have do in the sentence, yeah, it's I like pizza, so do I. If it's a uh, past simple, for example, in the past I liked pizza, and you want to agree, then you have to say, so did I, yeah, you don't have did in the sentence, and it can be sometimes very confusing if you are not um, fluent enough. But um, with can, I think it's quite easy, yeah? Uh, so you can remember that uh, when we start the at the beginning of the sentence, we put so, or when we agree with a negative sentence, we put neither or neither, okay? At the end of the sentence, we put to or either. But I, uh, as I told you, with can it's easy, with other tenses, uh, with um, some tenses it can be more difficult. But I've got an, easy, uh, an easier option for you if you want to agree with somebody. Uh, it's a very short, <laughs> short option. So if you want to agree with a positive sentence, it's enough that you say, me too. Okay? And if you want to agree with a negative sentence, it's enough that you say, me neither. I think you will like this option most, yes, <laughs> because it's the easiest one. But you can also use this if you want to. Uh, just one more thing. Look, uh, we have got a negative sentence here, yes? And look, when you say uh, neither or neither, can is um, the verb.
verb of um, the form of can is uh, positive. Okay, so remember about that. Here you just repeat. Yeah, I can't sing. You repeat the same. I can't either. Okay, it's the same here. I can swim. I can chew. You repeat that. Mm, but here, just be careful. I can't sing. Neither can I. Okay. I hope it's clear for you. So uh, remember this. Um, so to either and neither can be used also when we agree with somebody. And you have to be careful if you. Um, if you reply to a positive sentence or if you reply to a negative sentence. And I think this option, the shortest one, is <laughs> the best for you. If you would like to get a picture note from this lesson, please subscribe to my newsletter. You will find the link to the newsletter below this film in the description below. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> See you next time. Goodbye.